Yeah. What up, YouTube? How's everybody out there in the YouTube community? Um, just kind of give you guys an update. It is day two of, um, well, the morning of day two of the orientation. We are down here in Phoenix, Arizona. I'll kind of recap uh, day one. Uh, basically on day one, what they have you do. Now, if you get in the truck through Schneider, that morning they'll pick you up at the hotel and they'll take you over to uh, Schneider Finance and you pick out your truck and do all the paperwork and stuff for your truck over there. Um, if you have a truck that you're bringing on, like in my case, um, you're gonna drive your truck over uh, to the Schneider um, Operating Center and hand it off to the mechanics over there and they're going to do a DOT inspection on it basically to make sure um, it meets all the qualifications or whatever you want to call it. Uh, and I guess they're pretty thorough because I do know one of the uh, guys that was coming on bringing his truck on, he had an issue with his uh, fifth wheel. And they said his, I think fifth wheel, well, fifth wheel had a little bit too much slack in it. So he had to get that fixed before he could go forward. I mean, you know, it's not that they're turning him away. He just got to get it fixed before he goes forward. Um, so that's kind of the morning of the f first day. Uh, once you do get through the inspection and all that stuff, uh, well, kind of simultaneously, you know, uh, you know, they were doing my inspection. Then you go to the classroom. If you don't have a recent DOT physical, well, let me rephrase that. I'll say this. If you are with Schneider currently, they will use your current DOT physical. If you are coming from outside of the Schneider, outside of Schneider, don't waste your money getting a DOT physical. Because I had a couple guys talking about, um, you know, they just dropped $100 on a DOT physical two, three months ago. Why do they have to take another one? Schneider wants their own DOT physical for the um, owner operator side of things using their doctors that they have there on site. So, um, to rush out and go and get a DOT physical, it's a waste because they're going to redo it here. Also, they're going to do the, uh, 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 babe, were they doing um, hair follicle yesterday? Mm -hmm. They do hair follicle testing uh, and all that good stuff. So, that's what's going to happen there. Uh, yeah, wifey over there, she's getting ready. It is uh, about five something in the morning. Uh, let's see, what else day one? At that point, they're kind of doing the DOT physicals while we're sitting in a room and we're filling out a lot of, uh, you know, they kind of come, the, the doc is coming in and grabbing driver at a time for the DOT physicals, if you have to do it. While the rest of us, we're filling out paperwork for uh, things like our banking information so they'll know where to send our settlements. Um, you know, paperwork. It is what it is, what you have to do there. Uh, so you're going through that. Uh, what else did we do yesterday? Watched a couple of videos, had a conference call with somebody in, was it Green Bay? Charlotte. Charlotte. Uh, now Schneider, when you, here's another thing too, when you pick your truck, I guess, that determines on where you go for your orientation. 
they have Charlotte, Green Bay, and Phoenix, okay? So whatever truck you pick, if that truck is in Green Bay, that's where you're gonna do your orientation. Uh, we had a guy who's from Pennsylvania all come all the way to Phoenix to do his orientation because the truck he picked was in Phoenix, you know. Uh, so kind of keep that in mind also. Uh, what else did we have? Mm, like I say, we had a couple of videos they had us watch uh, and the conference call. And basically the conference call was just, well, it was a conference call slash they had something up on the screen and the guy doing the conference call was talking through the information on the screen. And basically it was about um, the steps that you're making, becoming an owner operator and best practices. Uh, uh, um, that you guys should have if you're if you're getting into this, you know, talking about it is a business and what you need to be doing on your end um, to be successful at the business as the business. Now, I think I'll kind of elaborate on that in a video of my own, um, kind of give you guys some uh, uh, a little bit more information on that. But anyway, uh, day two. We're about to go back over to the uh, operating center. Uh, this morning we have to catch the, I think they send in a shuttle or a bus over to uh, to pick us up. Uh, here's another thing. <laughs> I didn't really like this, but I'm not going to question it. I'm not going to worry about it. Now, my truck, But once I start the orientation and once, and because Schneider's, you know, put their Qualcomm and uh, their MC numbers on my truck and everything, at this point I'm becoming, a, I'm leased to Schneider. But they won't let me drive my truck until Thursday. Well, you know, I can get into it if I need anything, but they won't let me take it off of the property to, property to Thursday. Now I'm kind of thinking, uh, well, I noticed I don't have my registration and all that stuff yet from Schneider, you know. Uh, and Schneider's going to be my insurance carrier, so I don't have that. But understand this. Once you bring your truck on the property for the orientation and you pass that DOT, they keep the truck to the end of the orientation. They don't let you have your truck back till Thursday, okay? Uh, let's see. I guess that's all I really kind of have. Hey, Bob, Mommy, would you say something? Any thoughts? Any, uh, no, it's anything? It's orientation. I mean, you just got to do it. Um, <laughs> they want black people in the orientation. Mm -hmm. was a lot of sitting around because we had to wait for the other guys to pick out their trucks. So we're just kind of sitting around for four hours, just waiting for them to kind of catch up. So uh, just a lot of sitting around. And then by the end of the day, they cut us out about four came to the hotel and got something to eat, but it was pretty much a short day. Yeah. So, uh, well, I don't know if it's short. We started out yesterday about five o'clock in the morning. So it's, uh, look for your day to run from about, because the bus comes to pick you up about five, the shuttle. If you don't have your truck on that first day, comes to pick you up about 5.30, I think it was. Now, being that we had our truck, we were able to, uh, um, kind of take our time getting over there because the uh, instructor had told us that he was taking those that had to pick out their trucks and it was going to be a few minutes before they got over to the uh, uh, training park, the training center or the whatever you want to call it. So that's what went on there. Um anyway we try to keep you updated uh i think day two here um but like i was saying they're not letting me take my truck and i think one of the other issues is insurance now that schneider has put their numbers on it 
I go through and I either got to have a proof of insurance this morning or I got to buy insurance through Schneider. So I know that's what's killing one of those days where once they put their number, their MC numbers and things on the truck, you're leased to them until proper coverage is on the truck. They're not letting you take it off the property. I think that's kind of the scenario here. And being that uh, uh, I haven't proved to them or sent them anything to show that I have insurance, which I don't because I'm going to purchase my insurance through Schneider. They got a I like their program. Okay. But with that being said, um, I think that's why they're not letting me take it off the property, you know, because I'll purchase my insurance today and then it's probably Wednesday before it's actually covered. And then Thursday, they'll let me have my truck. So anyway, that's what that is. Uh, Mom, you got anything else? She'll probably get with you guys a little later on today. Kind of, uh, 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 whatever. But anyway, we are out for right now.